What is the value of the expression 52 divided by 13 multiplied by open parenthesis 52 divided by 26 closed parenthesis? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression is very tricky and has caused many people to pick the wrong option. Let's go step by step and solve it together. Many people, when starting to solve this question, first focus on the expression inside the parentheses, and instead of considering the whole expression, they rewrite it as 52 divided by 13 multiplied by 2. In the next step, they go for the multiplication between 13 and 2 because they believe multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they simplify this expression and rewrite it as 52 divided by 26, which finally gives them the answer 2. Then, without any hesitation, they conclude that the correct answer to this question must be option A. However, this answer is absolutely wrong. Alright, now let's go through this question and step by step and solve it together. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule step by step. According to this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, a stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. We must carry out these operations strictly in order from top to bottom. Alright, as you can see in the image and this expression, first we have a division sign, then a multiplication sign, and finally parenthesis. According to the PEMDAS rule, we must start with the parenthesis, because parenthesis have the highest priority compared to the other operations. So, we can write this expression as 52 divided by 13 multiplied by 2. Now, we need to perform the revision and multiplication. However, it's very important to keep in mind that multiplication and division are on the same level of precedence. In this case, the best approach is to start from the left and carry out these two operations in order. So, first we handle the revision between 52 and 13, which simplifies this expression to 4 multiplied by 2. And finally, we get the answer 8. Therefore, option C is the correct answer to this question. Okay, let's solve another tricky math question together. What is the value of the expression 56 divided by 7 over 5 multiplied by 10? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? Let's take a closer look and solve it together. At the beginning of solving this question, many people go straight to the expression 7 over 5 multiplied by 10, which I have highlighted in yellow, because they think multiplication has priority over division. And they say it's easy to simplify 10 with the 5 in the denominator and write this expression as 56 divided by 14, which finally gives them the answer 4. Then, without any hesitation, they immediately say that the correct answer to this question is option A. However, that's definitely wrong. Alright, now let me explain a step by step how we should solve this expression properly. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule exactly as I've shown on the screen. It means that we have to perform all the operations in order from top to bottom. Okay, as you can see on the screen, and this expression, we have one division sign followed by a multiplication sign. It's very important to note that multiplication and division are at the same level of precedence. In this case, the best thing to do is to start from the left side of the expression and move a step by step toward the right. So, first we start with the expression 56 divided by 7 over 5. Okay, whenever we come across a division sign between two terms, the best thing to do is to apply the KCF rule. In this rule, K stands for keep the first number as it is. C stands for change the division sign to multiplication. And F stands for flip the second fraction. So, we remove the highlighted part and replace it with 56 multiplied by 5 over 7. Now, the number 56 cancels out with the 7 in the denominator. And this expression simplifies to 40 multiplied by 10, which finally gives us the answer 400. Therefore, option D. Is the correct answer to this question?